The extraordinary political storm unleashed by the FBI search of Trump's the Florida resort. CNN The FBI search of Donald Trump's Florida resort is an extraordinary historic development given that it targeted a former president of the United States and set up the political uproar he could use to stalk his likely 2024 White House bid. In the past, political investigations that have threatened Trump have only increased his superpower field to support us. But the federal agent on Monday acted on a judge-approved warrant which suggests they had a probable ground to believe a crime had been committed. They focused on Trump's offices and personal quarters in his Mar-a-Lago winter residence while the former president was away in New York. Monday's search was related to the possible mishandling of presidential documents, potentially some that were classified that may have been taken to Trump's home, the subject of one of two Justice Department investigations related to the former president. The news was one of the most staggering twists yet in the story of Stone. Trump, who was impeached twice, incited a mob riot to try to overturn his 2020 election loss and consist constantly tore at the guardrails guard of his office and democracy during his single term and afterward, like no other president. It threatened to inject new toxins into the political life of the nation, nation that is hopelessly divided, with millions of Trump supporters already believing his lies that the 2020 election was stolen, and that, on many issues, no longer has a common understanding of truth itself. It also comes with the ex-president itching to launch a 2024 campaign rooted in his false claims of electoral flood, which is Authoritarian rhetoric suggests to the president a profound challenge to democracy. The looming campaign will likely feed on the political rocket, the fuel of the perception among Trump supporters, which he, which he himself created in his statement announcing the search Monday that he is being unfairly persecuted. Trump seizes on the search to fire up supporters. Trump was quick to put a political spin on the operation, claiming that his beautiful home was under siege, raided and occupied, while complaining that he was a victim of the weaponization of the justice system by Democrats who wanted to stop him from becoming president after the 2024 election. His statement used the same explosive language and the sense of grievance that motivated by some of his supporters to violence to in Washington on January 6, 2021. Such an assault could only take place in broken third world countries. Sadly, America has some be now become one of those countries, corrupt at the level not seen before. They even broke into my safe, Trump said. He did not mention that the search was conducted on the basis of the legal authorized warrant. Early Tuesday morning, Trump shared a new campaign star video to his, to his Truth Social site declaring the best is yet to come. And he also has been fundraising up the search. In some ways, his reaction in itself read like the opening salvo of the new presidential campaign built around the narrative of a pers 
persecution by deep state forces, familiar from the approach of other strongman leaders around the world. The FBI and the Justice Department declined to comment on the search. President Joe Biden was unaware of the search of Mar Malago until after it was reported on the news, according to a senior administration officer. We don't know whether Trump had broken any laws. Many Republicans picked up Trump's lead, reacting fur furiously, demanding the Justice Department explain itself and claim claiming the ex-president was the victim of the political ben vendetta. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, whose, hope, whose hopes of becoming Speaker rely on Trump's patronage, immediately vowed to investigate Anthony Attorney General Mary Garland if Republicans win the House of Rep Representatives in November's midterm elections. The Lolita Senate Marco Lubio, who's facing voters this fall, tweeted using government power to persecute political opponents is something we have seen many times after third the world the maximist Marxist Mar Marxist dictatorship, but never before in America below the Senate Rick Scott who chairs of chairs the Senate GOP's GOP's campaign arm wrote on Twitter, We need answers now. The FBI must explain what they were, what they were doing, now and why. The instant reactions supportive of the former president more testimony to his enduring power within the Republican Party were also an early sign how this investigation will face extreme political pressure. Those responses may also show that the ex-president potential 2024 campaign could benefit from the rallying effect of the government investigation that he can portray as polit politicized and unfair, and that potential GOP rivals may have little option but to rally around the two. But the magnitude of Monday's event should not be underestimated, at even, even if the question of whether the former president was a real danger of being charged with a crime. In what would be a stunning historic step was not immediately clear on Monday night. The exact parameters of the search warrant were also not available. President to have the capability, capacity to declassify sensitive information, and it was not clear whether Trump might have taken such steps with the material involved. involved. Former president do not have such powers. However, CNN reported that boxes of items were taken by the FBI after the search on Monday. And Trump's attorney, Christina Bob, said the borough seized the paper after what she said was an unannounced raid. A most sensitive decision. Taking such action against any major political figure would be a higher de delicate, given Trump's status as the former commander in chief. Each especially gay, grave, and the ex-president's history of inciting anger and violence makes, makes this about as sensitive a, move, sensitive a move as it is possible to make. It's clear that the top levels of the Justice Department and the FBI would have signed off on the decision to search Trump's resort. If full knowledge of the explosive political reverberation, reverberations that were certain to be unleashed. I cannot overemphasize how big of the deal this would have been. 
within the Department of Justice and the FBI. The former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe said on CNN on Monday evening, this is something that would have been planning out and re-evaluated re and regularly examined from every possible angle and angle by the entire entirety of the leadership structure of both the organizations, McCabe, a CNN law enforcement analyst, said. Given the political implications, there is no room for error for the Justice Department or for the FBI, whose director, Christopher Wary, is a Trump appointee. There was never, never a doubt that Trump would react to the search by lightning a political touch paper. This force claims that the 2020 election was stolen by already helped the insight on insurrections. The stakes for the investigators and for the country's political future are therefore enormous. Those implications would only become more crit critical if it if it later emerges that the FBI search has not conducted by the book or was not critical to the nation's, na nation's national security. The political sensitivities were so accurate, acute that it just e it's easy to see how a failure to prosecute Trump after taking such a public step would raise questions over whether the search, search was justified. That said, in order to secure a warrant to search Trump's the property, FBI officials would have had to prove to the judge that there was a probable cause to believe that the federal crime had been committed and that evidence of such could be obtained at the resort. Trump faces multiple investigations. The Justice Department has two non-active investigations connected to the Trump. One on the effort to overturn the 2020 presidential election and the event surrounding January 6, 2021, and the other involving the handling of classified documents. This search appears to be linked to the later, later investigation. The National Archive, which is responsible for collecting and sorting presidential records, has previously said at least 15 boxes of White House documents are recovered from Mar-a-Lago, Mar including some that were classified. Members of Trump's the former White House team have frequently said that he was careless or contempt contemptuous contemptuous of the legal requirement to archive all presidential documents and cavalier, cavalier with classified information. Earlier Monday, newly revealed reporters, which New York Times reporter and CNN contributor Maggie Hamber Hamberman is publishing, publishing in his forthcoming book shows documents apparently in Trump's the handwrite, handwriting that he allegedly tries to flush down the toilet. News of the FBI search of Malago, Mar a Lago comes after CNN first reported last week that the former president lawyers were in discussion with the Justice Department in connection with its investigation into the event in Washington surrounding the Capitol insurrection. Trump may also have some legal jeopardy in the separate probe in Georgia into attempt by the Trump former president and his eyes to overturn Biden's election win in a critical swing state. Monday's search at Mar-a-Lago also comes against the backdrop of the House Select Committee investigation into the Capitol insurrection, which has uncovered damning new evidence about uh, Trump's, uh, tr Trump's uh, attempt to steal the 2020 election and his failure to try to stop the violent assault 
on the Capitol once it was underway. The committee has not yet said whether it will rec recommend criminal action against the, the ex-president by the Justice Department, while Democrats may take apple to in the sense that legal problems were filing out for the former president and the serious crim criminal investigations are getting ever closer to the GOP presidential favorite. They might might do well to remember the history of history of attempts to call him to account. The then president manages to wiggle clear of the Robert Mueller investigation, even though the special prosecutor noted the multiple strange links between his 2016 campaign and Russia and compiled a list of occasions so when many outside observers considered he tried to obst obstruct justice. Trump's the two impeachment in the U.S. House for trying to coerce Ukraine into investigating Biden ahead of the 2020 election and over the insurrection did not result in convictions in Senate trial or any effort to bar him from future federal office. His extraordinary support among grassroots grass Republicans make it all but impossible for politicians who want the political future to oppose him. And it doesn't seem like anything but a clear criminal case against the ex-president could turn his supporters against him. And even that might not change their opinion of him if he responds with the right rhetoric. This is that is even more true, true after a FBI agent crosses a Rubicon on Monday by entering Trump's the pride and joy residence in a move that will have massive political implications. However, the investigation eventually turns out. CNN's Caitlin Collins, Caitlin Blunt. Zachary Cohen, even Perez, Sarah Moray, Kevin Liptock, Dan Berman, Whitney Wilde, and Gabby all contributed to this report.